In the relentless realm of pirate-infested waters, Turkish frigates embark on a perilous mission. Little do they know, an unimaginable twist awaits as pirates mistakenly attack the wrong ship. Can they outsmart piracy? What unforeseen dangers lurk in the open sea? On January 11, 2009, the multinational combined Task Force 151, a Turkish warship, was established in Manama, Bahrain. Its primary objective is to combat piracy off the coast of East Africa, human trafficking, and illegal fishing, and deter non-state actors from using the high seas. It is made up of a coalition of countries that share common interests in preserving maritime security and freedom of navigation. The Turkish government pledged to contribute to this effort by providing Turkish Navy warships. Initially, one frigate was deployed, but in June 2009, the Turkish Navy deployed two G-Class frigates, the Gazi Tape and the Gadiz. These two frigates worked alongside Allied navies to uphold maritime security in the region. They conducted patrols, boarded suspicious vessels, and provided escorts to vulnerable ships. By the end of September 2009, they had detained 24 Somali pirates and foiled five pirate attacks on civilian vessels while ensuring the safe passage of numerous merchant ships passing East Africa. The Turkish frigates played a vital role in countering piracy in the region, and their efforts were widely appreciated by the international community. In the midst of countering piracy, the Turkish frigates faced an unforeseen twist on the open sea, defying all expectations. After completing their deployment, the two warships began returning home to Turkey in mid to late October. However, on November 5, 2009, during their return voyage, they received a distress signal from the Greek-owned bulk carrier MV Theophorus 1. The ship was under attack by Somali pirates who had boarded it and were holding the crew hostage. The Turkish frigates immediately responded to the call for help, and after a brief firefight, they managed to retake the vessel and free the crew. This successful operation was a testament to the effectiveness of international cooperation in combating piracy. The Turkish frigates, along with other allied navies, had succeeded in reducing piracy in the region, making it safer for ships to pass through. Their efforts had also helped to deter other non-state actors from using the high seas for illegal activities. In conclusion, the deployment of the Turkish Navy warships, the Ghazi Untape and the Gadiz to the Indian Ocean as part of Combined Task Force 151 was a significant contribution to the global effort to combat piracy. Their success in countering piracy and ensuring maritime security in the region was a testament to the effectiveness of international cooperation in achieving common goals. Another incident, when the Theophorus was approximately 170 km off the coast of northern Somalia in the Gulf of Aden when she came under attack by a group of five pirates on a lone skiff. The pirates opened fire with rockets and small arms, but the Greek vessel quickly took evasive action. While the ship's captain alerted nearby warships to the unfolding attack, the rest of the crew fought valiantly to hold off the pirates. They maneuvered the ship in such a way that prevented the enemy from throwing up their grappling hooks and even used their onboard fire hoses to keep the pirates at bay. Meanwhile, the Godiz, being the closest warship to the incident, was rerouted to come to the aid of the bulk carrier. It was in the mid-morning of November 5th when the Turkish frigate arrived on the scene. However, despite the presence of the warship nearby, the pirates showed no intent of abandoning their attack on the Greek vessel. The goddess fired a dozen or so machine gun bursts in the direction of the enemy boat, which finally compelled the pirates to back down and attempt to flee the area. By then, the frigate had launched an onboard Gustabel 212 helicopter to track the enemy's movements. A team of Turkish commandos from the Special Forces Unit, known as the Su'uti Teruz, had been sent out and boarded a rigid inflatable boat to intercept the skiff. After receiving a few more warning shots from the Turkish forces, the pirates eventually stopped their boat and surrendered to the commandos. The Turkish forces detained the five pirates and seized a large quantity of enemy firearms and equipment. A report released by the Turkish Navy later stated that the operation was a success thanks to the quick thinking and brave actions of the crew of the Theophorus and the intervention of the Turkish frigate and its highly trained commandos. The hook used by the pirates to climb the ship was identified, and the Godiz was later relieved by two Allied warships in the area. After the incident, the MV Fia Forest One continued its journey to Hong Kong, finally arriving at its destination. Meanwhile, the Godiz sailed back to its home base in Turkey, 
arriving at the Gold Joke Naval Base on the 19th of November 2009. The successful intervention of Godiz and her onboard commandos was a clear demonstration of the effectiveness of international cooperation in combating piracy and ensuring the safety and security of global shipping. Could you imagine the adrenaline-pumping moment when the Turkish frigates faced down pirates to rescue MV Theophorus? What would you have done if you were on board that ship? Leave a comment.